All right, I've got another trip video here for you guys. Uh, this time it's going to be Bog River Flow up to Lowe's Lake. There's a portage about 0.8 to Big Deer Pond. We'll paddle across Big Deer. We're going to make our way uh, another 2.2 mile portage to the upper Oswegatchie. And that way we can paddle over approximately 50 beaver dams and uh, make our way downriver past High Falls down to uh, Inlet uh, through the uh, Five Ponds Wilderness. So that's, uh, if you stick around, that's what you're going to get to see. To plan this trip, I'm using the Adirondack Paddlers map. We're uh, launching at Lowe's Lower Dam. We'll paddle into Hitchens Pond for a short portage and then up through the Bog River flow to uh, Lowe's Lake. And uh, at the end of Lowe's Lake, there's a portage to Big Deer Pond and then another big portage down to the upper Oswegatchie and then we'll follow that all the way to Inlet. So that's the plan, it's gonna be three nights, four days in the Adirondack Wilderness. Little wood frog hopping around. There's uh, the hobble bush by Burnham in fruit. Here's the parking area at Lowe's Lower Dam, the start of the uh, Bog River flow. Pretty busy, so we had to park a little further up the road. There's plenty of spots. We're all registered, we're ready to go. Got my paddle partner, Ron. Uh, here's uh, Lowe's Lower Dam where the launch is, and we're gonna get this going. making our way up from Lowe's Lower Dam to the Upper Dam, uh, about to enter through uh, Hitchens Pond. It's just gorgeous. Number two. We're working on reading the water. If, uh, if you don't follow the flow, you end up in the soupy grass. Here's site number three on a little rise, right before the uh, train trail sometimes. Here's Hitchens Pond. Maybe this is where some of our buddies camped uh, last autumn when they got caught in one of the first snowstorms of the season. We've got site number six. Saying hello to these guys. <laughs> Two Korean beans, guys. This is my unicorn right here. Never this thought I'd be yeah. and, and a hammock camper. Yeah. 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 Wow. yeah. yeah. You're wearing sunglasses, dude? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> what's, he, what's he drinking? What do we got? There it is. Spiced rum. Here's site number seven. And we're coming up on the uh, upper dam. <laughs> there you go. Here's a portage from uh, Kitchen's Ponds at the uh, upper dam, heading up to uh, Lowe's Lake. Some ruins on the trail here. It looks like they're doing some work on the upper dam. Here's another site, I think it says nine. We're approaching the first bog in the flow. No choice here. Getting a bit cut off. Yeah, I think we can lift it through. Do a little shake on the on the uh, on the bog. Get a bounce on the bit. Here's some pitcher plants. A lot of 
people watching are hoping Ron is about to fall in. Just waiting for a quick laugh. About two and a half hours into the paddle, moving along. Nice break in the clouds, sun's coming out a little bit. Passing a few sights here and there. Just working our way out to uh, Lowe's. Making good progress, we've been paddling about four and a half hours. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna continue on over to uh, Grass Pond and see what's available. Here's the famous site 27. Keep hearing everybody talk about this one. Supposed to have a great view of the sunset. Of course it's well taken. Taking a quick look at site 28. but uh, we want to check out Grass Pond, so we're still working our way in. Checking out 33 on Grass Pond. Here it is, right up here, site 31. Very nice. Might not be able to see the sunset. I think it's going to set over those cliffs. But uh, this is just Tankara gear might get to use that this weekend, I hope. Uh, the uh, the tarp is a war bonnet tarp with the spreader bars. And then inside I've got the uh, Jacks Are Better bridge hammock. And uh, zero degree under quilt from Jacks Are Better. And a, a zero degree top quilt from uh, hammock gear. So Been fishing, haven't got a bite, haven't even seen a rise. Won't stop me though, I'll keep fishing, see what happens. Water's perfectly flat. A couple bugs skimming around. That's that's our sight with the smoke coming out. Alright, finally hooked into a bass. Took off the Texas rig, the uh, worms. Whew. Not very big, but a largemouth bass.
shit though. That. Yeah, yeah, it'll I, be. I, 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 fucking, I was putting the saw away. I lost half the time. Hunger is the best spice. Just a little bit. Yeah, it'll be good. Here we go, saying goodbye to Bob Merflow, making our way to Big Deer. There it is. Pretty mellow for a portage trail. Pretty, pretty even terrain. Not much more than what you see here. This is Big Deer Pond here. Tadpole in the weeds that I pulled into the boat. No fish on the boat. A Sherpa. Here's the beaver dam at point six. Box register. Ah, this is it. The end of the 2.2.
there's a spring down at the, at the end of the trail. This is campsite four at the end of the portage. And I think three is just a bit further down trail. Shrubs and shrubs of uh, June berries, service berries, Saskatoon. They taste all right. A lot of little seeds in them. Kind of like an apple taste but with, with a little bit of flesh that there is. All right, here's the start of the Asquatchie, the upper Asquatchie. We went over what I think was our first beaver dam. We just paddled right over it. It rained two days ago. So we're hoping that the water level's high enough that we can paddle over a few of them and don't have to carry over a full 50. I think this is the first one. We, <laughs> we got to start getting out. Beaver Dam number 12, trout number 2. Here's site 5. Yeah, if you walk in a bit maybe. Six, I think. Interesting sight. Wow. Hey, you're floating away. Fish on. First cast. Chartreuse. Good call, Scott. That's Brody. Upstream. Yeah, fishing upstream is the way to go. We're paddling downstream. Ron just put on a chartreuse, uh, what is it, a spinner? Yeah, a Bruce, a Brewster Tail. Martin Panther spinner. Martin. With a little there it is. crappy. Yeah. Yeah. Good call from uh, S. Brody using the chartreuse. Site eight, just an opening. We're looking to find some hammock trees, so that's not going to work for us. Moving on. Don't forget about the fishies. Maze of rocks. This mess of elderberry. It's like nine. We're gonna take it. It's getting dark.
little bit of soup, some trout. We'll cook up some uh, brats, some rice. That'll be dinner with a view. over the coal. Here's the start of the High Falls Portage coming up. Whoa, beauty. Look at this guy, he's supposed to be making us sandwiches. He sneaks down here, he's fishing. I just tied this on, I'm wondering, I'm wondering where my fishing rod went. Unbelievable. Lean to at High Falls. Checking out the sites, uh, 23, 25. This is where the trail is to Five Ponds, so I think we're gonna stick around here and uh, do, that, do that hike.
Todd Khan is supposed to have some of the biggest old growth in the area. Never seen this before. Neat little trick. I guess you hang your bag, your pack, your food here. The mice can't get down to it. They shower the crackers. Let's go. This morning we're going to paddle down past Brook Brook Lean To, Griffin Rapids, past High Rock, and uh, make our way to Inlet where our car is at. Should be about three and a half hours. <clears throat> so we, we haven't been counting all the dams. Some of them are just uh, fallen trees that have been cut to create a section to paddle through. A lot of the dams we were able to paddle over. Come by, no biggie. Just uh, get out and get back in. 